people often ask me uh, whether they should be taking uh, fish oil or flax oil, um, which is the best because they're both high in omega-3, aren't they? And I would say probably take both. But however, if you want to get the therapeutic effect from your oil, then it's safer to take the fish oil or the krill oil. Krill, of course, is a form of fish oil, really. If you take it in that form, the body doesn't have to convert it. It's, it's ready to, for use because uh, what we know as fish oils, uh, people will have heard of EPA and DHA, perhaps. These are oils which are very, very abundant in the human brain. So very much of our brain is actually made of fish oils. Um, so if you take them in that form, then the body can use them right away. Whereas if you take them in the form of flax oil, then the body can make DHA and EPA uh, from that, from flax oil, but it has to go through about six different transformations to get there. And every transformation is inefficient. So some people, in some people, um, perhaps only 5% or even less would get converted from the plant oil into the fish oil, which is why you have to t take much more of the flax oil than the fish oil, you see. And in the case of krill oil, of course, you need even less because it's extremely concentrated. So you can get enough from just a one, one or two little capsules, but you, you wouldn't get anything useful uh, for, with one or two capsules of, of flax oil. It wouldn't be enough. So you need to be taking dessert spoons, if not tablespoons a day, of, of flax oil.